Hey, what's up guys? Books Nelson here back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about what's going on right here with this Wemby at 75k. So if, as you guys can see from my currency, if you watched my uh, most recent video where I talked about, you know, these packs that were in the market and stuff like that, if they were worth, worth picking up, I did not pick them up. Now, I want to make one thing clear before we get into this content. This is not me praising 2k. However, I do want to point out the difference between what I personally view as worth my currency and not worth my currency, right? So if you come over here to these packs, when I go into these cards, all right, I look at all of these cards and we did this in the other video. So I'm not going to take too long to talk about each and every card. But as I scroll up, I start to notice that more than 50% of the cards don't help my team either because the cards are bad or because I already have the cards or a card very similar to them. So for me, it would not be worth spending 200,000 KVC, like 200,000 VC to not get a card I want, right? I don't like, I'm not a gambler. I don't like spending money on things and not getting what I want. All my life in every avenue, when I spend money, I receive a product I intended to receive right i don't give people money and they give me a mystery box in return so for me personally when i see this wemby card i do view this card as worth it right Be and, and it's not worth it because the vc price is a good price or a bad price it's just because i have the vc it's the end of the year i'm not making any more builds i'm going to continually get more vc from my career so this makes my team better so i'm going to grab the card right here in front of you guys We'll talk about the card a little bit, talk about what you're getting with this card, right? So this card makes my team better. And as we scroll over to my team, you'll see why. So I'm, a, I'm what I like to call pro money spent, right? I'm a no money spent player, but I do buy the pro pass. So that's 10 bucks every couple of months or whatever it is. Because I, as a my career player, I get a lot of value out of that also from doing both of them, right? I get the pass completed very early. You can see I'm level 40 already. And so I get to enjoy the rewards pretty early in the season. And speaking of those rewards, don't sleep on that stack house. Maybe we'll make a video on stack house. But as we go over to my team here, and we go to my quote unquote best team. Now, this is what no money spent has gotten me to, or pro money spent has gotten me to, right? And so you can easily see how Wemby makes this squad better. I can slot him in. I mean, honestly, I could slot Wemby in for anybody. But when I bring Wemby in, let's say I bring him in for, hmm, I probably bring him in for Shaq, honestly, but I kind of like the Shaq card a little bit. So I'll bring him in for Juwan Howard, even though that makes me a little small, that's a small forward. We'll do that for now, All right? So let's see, where is that Wemby card? There you go. All right. So now we plug Wemby into the starting lineup. My team feels better. It feels more like what I would want. Now, if I was going crazy, I would do this, right? Because this to me is just like a cracked team because I have point guard Kareem, arguably the best card in the game. I should probably do a video on him on both Kareem's. Uh, phenomenal two guard and Ricky, one of my, probably my favorite small forward in Tyrus Thomas and then Wemby and Sean Bradley, I believe at the starter, right? Uh, now, I could. there's other ways I could go with this, but the point being is, now I actually get to make my team better. And this feeling that I have, this is what so many 2K my team players have been saying. They don't mind spending money on the game, even though technically I, technically I didn't spend money, right? But for most my team players, 75K VC would cost you money because you guys don't play either play now or, or my career, right? So, but even that, even time, right? The currency that I get from that, I could always go back into my career, buy a new build, whatever it may be. But I feel like spending the currency on my team when I actually get what I'm paying for. And so we can negotiate the prices. We can negotiate, you know, player availability and which players are good and how they're doing promos. All of that stuff is about tuning. But the core issue of spending currency on this game and never being able to get what you want next year, that absolutely has to go. Because this feeling right now that I have makes me want to play the mode. When a week comes and goes, right? Like if we look at, uh, and we'll look at this Wemby card a little bit too. When we look at these promos, right? If I go to a uh, player market, look at these promos. I did not invest. Free Sean Bradley. 
I did not invest. Free Tyrus Thomas. I'll be getting another card from this collection soon because I still have a deluxe pack. Uh, I have another deluxe pack coming in from Unlimited here too. But you see, I did not invest. I did not invest. I like my career. I like Rec. And for me personally, when my team kind of stinks, I just play the mode less, right? But now that I can actually get what I want, I play the mode more. 75k VC is not a small amount of money, like in terms of microtransactions for games, right? Like if I was to go to get VC here, you know, and we look at how much 75k costs, that's $20. The idea that you can go to 2k and say, here's $20, give me the card I want. And they go, no, that's not enough value. We need more from you. That is crazy. $20 for one admittedly good card, but not, he's not the best card in the game, but he's a very, very good card. $20 for one good card should not be a crazy notion in this game. Like it takes a, uh, I would say probably say about three days maybe in my career to get 75k VC if you play a lot and if you're good at the game, right? So if you do the quests, if you play a bunch of wreck, if you have more than one characters, the quests are about 3k VC a piece. So you do it on a few bunch of characters, there's multiple quests. You can easily see how you can get 30k in like a day and a half, double that. You're almost at 75k. And if you grind a little bit more, you'll be there, right? So if you want 75k as a my career player, all you kind of have to do is play the game a lot and you'll get there. But still, we're talking about three days of grinding the game for one card. That should be a perfectly reasonable price. He shouldn't even be unauctionable, right? So that's what I'm saying here basically is like, this situation with Wemby should be the norm, not the exception. The exception should come around game modes and awesome cards and collections that get released, not the basic idea that we can spend our currency on the game and get what we want. So before I get out of here, since this is a card review channel, I will jump into this Wemby real quick, just as a little bonus. We're just gonna quickly look at what you guys are getting if you get this card. So that's his aggressive size up. This is his normal size up. His normal size up is actually very good. This walk back right here is something you can use um, because if you're dribbling around and you hit that walk back and he starts to go backwards, that's just a nice way to be able to retreat. Uh, here's his hop back, it's not super great. Here's his snatch back. Uh, so this looks like he has James Harden. It's pretty good. It's okay. It's okay. Um, this is his escape, which is very strange. A very strange between the legs escape. But his regular escape is actually usable. And he does have a pretty good behind the back. Uh, this looks like it's probably Harden behind the back. Um, oh, very nice double cross on Wemby. And then we use the in, in and out tech to be able to burst in any direction we want. And I think if you mix all those things in, he has a pretty good crossover, really long wide crossover i do think that Wemby can 100 percent be a primary ball handler he's got that looks like that Jokic step back as well and yeah i mean this card is, is an absolute monster right you can basically do anything you need to do in this game and if you really get into the weeds with the dribbling tech sorry i don't have the controller up for this portion of the video but um if we do a full review on the Wemby card if you guys request that i'll do that but i just want to give you give you guys a quick look at what you would be getting with this Wemby card i would say the double uh, between the you know the double between the legs the combo move is really great the regular tech is going to be very strong on him because you can lead to the crossover going both towards the ball hand and the opposite hand obviously stick dunking he's going to be crazy and then when you do any of those moves you can also hit that snatch back that hop back um the hop jumper i should say and he's going to be really good at that as well so honestly this car is an absolute monster for me he's absolutely worth the 75k but um you know for you guys depending on your squads if you already have Wemby then he won't be and you know you didn't get to upgrade your squad the way I did which is the problem there's just not enough of this availability in the game right now so you know and that's that's pretty much gonna wrap it up like you know this this is what we need to move towards we need to move towards the ability to get the cards we want and stop this unauctionable stuff there's so many unauctionable cards in the game which would be acceptable if the auctionable cards actually gave you a return on your investment. But we've got Opals going for like 16, 20K. It's after, that's not even a pack. Like you can get an Opal and not even be able to pull a pack, depending on what the Opal is. So they're very stingy with the auction right now. 
um, the auction prices, almost to the point that it's almost silly to have unauctionable cards at all, right? There should be exchange and option packs for all of these cards that allow us to continually build our teams and, and invest into our teams and make our teams much better the way I was able to today. And the, uh, the last thing I'll say before leaving out is this is the natural issue with these GOAT cards in general is when you repeat the same players over and over and over again, eventually people have a version of that player and so it's harder and harder for them to improve their teams, right? Like I struck out on the week of Wemby and I don't go fully bust and broke. I don't spend money on the game. If I pull 10, 20 packs and I don't get what I want, I keep it moving. I just spend my MT and keep it moving, right? But the long story short is then I wasn't able to upgrade my team. So for me, I didn't have a Wemby. For the, for the people who really went ham on that Wemby, they got some Wemby that they could use. And so for them, this deal is completely dead, right? This is something that's a non-factor to them. And I don't want that for anybody. Why should somebody come to a drop and go automatically, well, because I've been pulling these cards, I have a version of all of these cards, so I'm just not excited about it. That's not the player's fault. That's 2K's fault because you keep releasing the same cards over and over again. 15 LeBrons, 10 Anthony Davises, 91 Luka, Luka Doncic's, you know, 300,000 Wembys. Stop it, guys. Go back to the old model where we got a variety of interesting and surprising cards that kept us wanting to be interested. Even if we have a card that does the same job, maybe they do the card differently. If you keep using the same players, the chances of them having many of the same anim animations is obviously very, very high. Maybe they get a different escape or behind the back here and there, but ultimately it's the same card. And also, and I think this is really important for my team, part of the fantasy is using the players you want. I've been whining and crying about no Isaiah Hartenstein because I wanted to celebrate what my Knicks did this year. I just wanted to put together a Knicks squad with the guys who we have and play with that team. I don't even care if it's just domination. I just wanted to see it. You know what I mean? I want, as a Knicks fan, I just wanted to see I Hart, Josh Hart, Brunson, Ananobi, DiVincenzo, throw in Julius Randle, even though he was hurt for the playoffs. I just wanted to see that. That's what my team provides because there's no real NBA players in the my career mode. It's all creative characters. And so I know, and I know other people who play the mode the same way. They just like playing with their favorite players. And if you guys keep releasing the same players all the time, where are their favorite players? You know, like, yeah, it's cool that some of these cards are here, but if look at a few of these cards. How many Kevin Loves have we gotten? Quite a few, actually. Kyrie Irving. There's so many Kyrie Irving cards. So many Allen Iverson cards. And I, beyond the fact that these guys are short and at this time of the year, they're less desirable cards, how many Hakeem cards, right? You just had a Hakeem that you could, I mean, this Hakeem you can buy out, right? Hakeem was like pretty available in certain other circumstances, like, People want the mode to go back to the spirit of being able to build their team. And this week, they didn't really do anything new. They just happened to put a good card out, you know, that you that like people want, as opposed to a card that people didn't want. But I don't want to overly celebrate this because it's almost like it's not luck because 2K knows what they're doing. They know the value of these cards. But the fact that this card wasn't popping out of packs quite as much and it's Wemby and all this other stuff, it made him a much more desirable card. But it just highlights how bad it is that the player market's dead, that MT is dead, and that my team has become their team, my casino. So we need to move into a better direction. As happy as I personally am to be able to have fun with a Wemby card, you know, and spend currency to get a Wemby card, as happy as that makes me, we can't lose sight of why this little ray of light is not enough compared to what the mode has become. And that's it. That's my rant for the day, guys. Um, and also my very, very quick breakdown of Wemby. I mean, he's an awesome card. You guys know that. And, uh, you know, great jumper, super tall, great dribbles, really, really good. If you want a full in-depth breakdown or something, let me know in the comment section. Maybe I'll do it. But there are definitely other cards I should be getting to first because I think people are pretty aware of what Wemby does. But long story short, my opinion, if you don't have a Wemby card, this is a no-brainer. If you have the currency, should you actually go into your bank account and spend $20 on a Wemby card in July? I mean, that's up to you guys. I'm not here to watch pockets. But I will say, <laughs> we're about to be getting trailers of the next game. And we are coming into this conundrum of like, how much do you invest in this game mode 
knowing that there's only a few weeks that you'll really be able to enjoy whatever you get out of it before the next game is coming out, which is why I don't put a lot of emphasis into the potential of like season nine, because not that many people are going to reach level 40 season nine. And those that do are only going to enjoy that level 40 reward a hot minute before they're talking about 2K25. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. The views on that uh, 2K League video, video are getting just absolutely out of hand. I can't believe it. Uh, please like and subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you all in the next one and peace.